We got our final race weekend of the season underway in very usual fashion with Norbert Kish and Sasha Lenz on the front row of the grid. But everybody piling in behind them would try to do their best to stop Norby being able to take the championship in the first race of the day. And straight off the bat, Sasha Lenz showed us all exactly what his intentions were. Outbreaking Norbert into turn one, he lost a bit of the overlap into turn two, but very quickly he would snatch it back again through the first chicane, the number 30 truck going into the lead very early on. A little bit further back, René Reiner had had a lot of contact and was smoking like mad with all of the bodywork flapping around and hitting the tyres. And he would have to start holding off some of the drivers in the Goodyear Cup. Stefan Fass involved with Theo Calvé and Shane Brayton, the two drivers that were going for the title this weekend. With yellow flags out after Jamie Anderson came off the road, there was a big turning point in the race. Norbert Kish overtaking Sasha Lentz down the inside in what were officially yellow flag conditions. He carried on at the front though, but was given a five second penalty for overtaking under yellows. So he would now need to make sure he could at least get five seconds ahead of this man, Jochen Hahn, to still clinch the title. Sasha Lenz was trying everything he could to get back past Norbert Kish, but eventually he would open up the gap. Putting his foot down and knowing exactly what the task was, he started to streak away at the front of the field. That wasn't before a couple of laps though, where Sasha kept him honest, but it ultimately in the end, he would go on to clinch the race win on the road at least. Behind it was Jochen Hahn and Albertetti trying to catch up, but behind all of that, the battle for the Goodyear Cup title was very, very hot under the collar. Shane Brayton and Teo Calve making multiple bits of contact, but hitting the wall was Antonio Albertetti. Ultimately though, Norbert Kish would finish first on the road, and after a five second penalty would be second, which would be enough to give him the championship, and he would be the overall 2021 FIA European Truck Racing Champion. Congratulations, Norbert Kisch, this year's FIA European Truck Racing Champion. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of the team and, uh, and the last two years. I think what we achieved is, uh, is outstanding. So yeah, I'm, I'm really proud and really thankful for the team because, you know, without them, this would not be possible. So yeah, I'm really happy that we have the team championship as well. And... Uh, and uh, and overall, you know, for the drivers' champions as well, it's. Uh, I'm just so happy, and uh, uh, you know, I. It's hard to say. It's a little bit hard to believe that that we are here again, but yeah, I'm I'm really happy. Norbert Kish, very emotional after a fantastic championship campaign, comes to an end, but still with three races to go. Lenz takes the win on the road with Norbert Kish and Jochen Hahn behind. Steffi Halm in fourth ahead of Adam Lachko and Anthony Janiek. René Reiner means that we have trucks 44, 55, 66 and 77 in their respective positions. Theo Calve finishes in eighth place overall, just ahead of Shane Brayton. And Lucas Hahn, after a great day, gets a top 10 finish overall. He was fourth in the original qualifying, then eighth in the Super Bowl, and he eventually managed to get a top 10 in the overall field. Fantastic progression and fantastic commitment from the younger of the two Hans in the race. Alia Kolok was classified 11th ahead of Stefan Fass and Antonio Abathetti, with Jamie Anderson and Andre Kurzim not classified at the end. It would be interesting to see how those guys could turn it around though in race two later on in the day.